I'm gonna sing, are you boys just a little bit down thinking about us girls back home? Well, don't. Cause I'm gonna sing you a little song that the English boys used to sing when they were out fighting for their empire. Right before it fell in on top of them. Oh, in old Constantinople, every gal has got an opal where her tics are ought more properly to be. Each one sits, as I am told, on a thunder mug of gold. I am Perrier, Jouet, bottles, what they pee. They avoid unpleasant odor, they wash out with caustic soda. Till it's sweet as it can rightly hope to be. But to smell an English woe, sweat and open where it grows in its dear old fashioned garden is for me. They used to sing it a lot when they were on grave detail. You know, putting their buddies in sacks when the smell started getting to them. You got an American cigarette, I'm all tapped out. <laughs> Howard and Vienna, they all curled and dyed it henna, and they sent it with the winges of cologne. Tis a dainty rare device, but it somehow don't suffice to an English lad for rising of his bone. Oh, the patriotic British find their doodles growing skittish when it comes to quim from lands beyond the sea. Tis that elmy English smell that they know and love so well. Make the English rose the only rose for me. You know, boys, if I may pause again, and I may pause again, I'd like to say that we know that you're not the ones that are keeping this war going. And we'd love to have you home. Uh, and it's you to whom we dedicate this song to. Oh, the musket ball moves faster than the mind of man can master. And it turns him to a piece of thinking dirt. I and never will his nose smell another English woe till that woe's of blood has blossomed on his shirt. So we ask him when we find him with his guts thrilled out behind him and his eyeballs flying out Guy. If he'd like to say, perhaps, to them governmental chaps that he didn't want so bloody much to die. Yeah, oh, fashion, God is for me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>